Good morning, friends. We are on the property. We thought it would be fun to give you a quick recap of the week because we did a lot of stuff this week. Yeah. Most notably would be the driveway, right? Yeah, a driveway. It's like a 400 something foot driveway with the big loop in it. It's kind of funny when you see it overhead, it looks a lot like a boondocking spot from <laughs> all the pictures we got when we were boondocking and traveling. It's still dirt right now. We may do something else with that, especially before the monsoon season. But for now, it's really nice. We have a driveway to, to drive into. Um, we really, it's a, got a nice little like curve to it before it hits the loop so you can't just like see straight up into the property. Kind of like that it's dirt too because in the morning we can come out and see the animal tracks. There's a snake track this morning. <laughs> Driver was the big thing. We staked it out, you know, before we actually moved out here. We had a guy come in, Daryl Johnson. He was awesome. <laughs> He knocked it out super fast. He it was did a done great in three job. Hours. Um, and it, we're really happy with it, yeah. So, the first order of business when we got here was some sort of storage. Yeah, so we could get a bunch of stuff out of the back of the truck. Right, because we've been traveling for five years. Our truck was basically our garage. Yep. <laughs> and um, we needed to be able to haul things in the back of the truck. So, we got a Shelter Logic garage in a box. It's 12 by 20 foot and, and eight, eight foot tall. Eight feet tall. Yep, got a nice uh, metal frame structure and then like a canvas that you stretch over top of it. And the ends zip up and um, we were able to fit a bunch of stuff in there so far. We found a really good spot for it. It's kind of between a couple of trees. We also set it up specifically so it gets a lot of nice air through it. The airstream is up there, and then just the ways down here, we've got the Shelter Logic tent. You can see it's pretty good size. You can fit quite a bunch of stuff in here. We probably need a few more shelves. Nothing workbench. and a workbench. Nothing spectacular to look at in here right now, but we got the bed of the truck empty, and we are able to haul stuff. So right up the way here, we've got our, what was it? Endura. It's an Endura Plus 2600 gallon tank. It's a beast. We went with uh, Rick at Oasis Water Harvesting. They're a local company in Sierra Vista and they stock these Endura Plus tanks. They're super um, heavy duty and you know UV resistant and safe for drinking water. Eventually, we hope to have a bunch of these to catch water, but since we don't have a roof to actually catch water yet, um, we're just using this as a freshwater storage. And so the way we do that is we take that big IBC tote, we fill it up, we bring it back here, we got a BV transfer pump, and we transfer the water out of that other one into this one. Where did it go? <laughs> into this one. How did I lose it? It's huge. <laughs> This probably won't be here forever. Um, when we do install our tanks, we would like to dig them down into the ground. This one's just set on top of the ground. Eventually, we hope to have a shallow well pump um, that will be here permanently that will run water right into the back of the airstream, kind of like a city water inlet. However, it brings its own set of challenges because this tank is about 100 feet away from the airstream. So not only do we have to get a good amount of power to a, a shallow well pump, we also have to run a hose. And so we don't have any electrical connections on the outside of the Airstream, like a, like a 110 plug, which we have never needed before, but now we really do. We don't want to be running stuff inside a compartment that might stay open because we don't want uh, rodents or pack rats to kind of follow that up and get inside. 
So we're gonna have to install a plug on the outside of the Airstream and then dig some line. It's gonna be a whole thing. So we hope to eventually do that. But for now, we're just using that transfer pump and we just transfer water from down there and we just pump it straight into the fresh tank of the Airstream. So this week, what are we up to? We have this nice picnic table that we have to stain. We got a picnic table because <laughs> our little our, our camp chairs are driving us insane. They're great for like, <laughs> oh hey, let's go to a campfire mm -hmm. and pull out some camp chairs that don't take away any space and <laughs> sit in them for like an hour. But if you want to sit in them and like relax, <laughs> they're the most uncomfortable things ever. So, plus we just need a place to put some things like yeah what's the solid it's, surface it's turning into a junkyard out here <laughs> we have really moved in and messed up the place so i um, don't want it to look like this <laughs> at all no so we got a picnic table we know it's probably not going to last very long because of the sun but we're going to try to stain it and you know give it a year at least I think this next week we're gonna just like really sit down and start to plot out our next steps here. Like what are our most important projects? What are our most expensive projects? What can we do right now? Fashion projects. From a, yeah, from a time or money perspective um, and sort of what, what are our goals? We have big goals, but I think now it just comes, comes down to sort of the nitty gritty of, well, what do we do today? We have a little bit of in, enough infrastructure in place to where we're not, you know, constantly having to go get water or... And we have an address to where we can have things shipped. We can have That's things so shipped, amazing. which is... <laughs> yeah, haven't had that in five years. That's exciting. I think just lots of planning this week and deciding what our next steps are. Yep. The possibilities are wide open. Tell us what you think. What should our next projects be? We could do shade. Shade, on the other side of the airstream. Ground preparation. It's a not permanent deck. <laughs> not permanent deck. A more permanent water situation where it's just running into the trailer more like city water. Or fencing. Fencing. Or maybe we should just get a puppy. Ada would really love that. So yeah. let us know what you let think. Let us know in the do. comments. And we're so excited to finally get going on some stuff. Yeah. We need your help because we have too many options and we don't know what to do. <laughs>